Hello everyone, it's Ali from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with our one and only personal break this evening. We do have two blaster boxes here of the Legendary Duelist Season 2 for Stephen O from North Carolina. So thank you so much Stephen for letting me open up some more Yu-Gi-Oh for you here on the channel. And I hope to find you some awesome new cards to add to your collection. Now I know some of you guys may have been anticipating some Mega Tin openings today. Unfortunately, they haven't arrived yet, but good news is Titan will be getting in those Mega Tins, those Tin of Ancient Battles, on Friday. So that should be very exciting. Do have some available for personal breaks on the website. Only have them scheduled for live breaks at the moment because I'll be gone tomorrow through Saturday midday. So I should be back here for our stream. I'll let you guys know if anything happens. I don't think so, but, you know, sometimes emergencies happen. But should be back on Saturday night, so I won't be here Wednesday the 6th or Friday the 8th. So we'll be missing some new product openings. Thankfully, though, we actually did get our Pokemon 25th Anniversary Celebrations merchandise in a little early. Arrived today by surprise, which is why I'm wearing the Bidoof hat, because I didn't dress for the occasion. I dressed for Yu-Gi-Oh, as we can see, Kame Game, Yu-Gi's grandpa shop. Uh, so emergency Bidoof hat uh, for, you know, to be on theme. So... Did get to check that out, but we'll be missing a preview box of Origins Football, Donruss Optic Baseball. I think that's, oh, Weiss Schwartz, that time I got reincarnated as a Slime Volume 2. I should be opening up a full case next week instead. So missing some stuff, doing some catch up with some stuff, and got to the celebrations a bit early, so that was a pretty nice surprise. But enough about that, more about these blaster boxes. And if you guys want to see a tin opening, I actually have, I'll put a link to it on my personal channel right there. I found a tin at Target yesterday and I checked it on out. So I already know what the tins look like. I have some pretty good cards. So let's see if we can get some pretty nice cards for Steven as well from of course a different set let's go ahead and jump on into it by snapping us into the corner that was a good snap probably a sign of things to come at least i would hope so but anyways like i said two blaster boxes here still first edition of course two packs one promo and one die inside so let's see what we can find here for steven so yeah, I got the little notification because as of pretty early this morning, there is nothing on today's queue. So I was like, oh, we got Yu-Gi-Oh! to open up this afternoon. Let me throw on a Yu-Gi-Oh! t-shirt, which I actually don't have too many. I have like a Karibo t-shirt. I have my blue eye shirt, but I actually wore my blue eye shirt on Sunday. So I didn't want to wear it again. So I, I went again for the Kame game. Hey, we have a Bingo Machine Go. Very nice. Secret Rare promo. And our die of this box is Harpy Lady. All right, so the pink die. If you guys want to know what that looks like outside of the wrap, I do have a loose one over here. I do like these, do like these. Curious if the Hidden Arsenal set will have dice in it or not. But let's go ahead and get on into our first pack here for Steven. See what cool cards we can find. We do have a Flying Pineapple here, Blackwing, Oster, the Southwind. Like that card, even though it's a common, very cute. But let's see what blue eye stuff we can find. Starting off a Black Rose Dragon Moon or Black Rose Moonlight Dragon, and a purple ultra red rose dragon, and Starlege Photon Blast. So some purple. Believe the most recent blaster openings here of Legendary Duelist Season 2. We got a ton of blues and the least amount of purples. So if I had to guess, probably seeing a good amount of purples. None of them seem particularly more rare than the other, just the uh, assortment of color. So I would think probably not seeing too many blues throughout the rest of this case because we had so many boxes in a row that had blue ultras, but I might be proven wrong right here. Harpy Oracle, and we have a green, a blue eyes ultimate, in the White Stone of Ancients. Like the White Stone, I used to play that in my blue eyes deck, which I feel like... Allie talking about the good old days when she used to play Yu-Gi-Oh! and had a very junky Blue Eyes deck it is the only topic I have for any any Yu-Gi-Oh! opening. I really need to get new material. I don't know what to talk about. Oh, oh, I got something to talk about. The uh, official Yu-Gi-Oh! Facebook page knows memes. <laughs> There's a new Pot of Greed. I think it's a, a mug or something, some sort of canister. But either way, there's a Pot of Greed little new merchandise thing and the the tagline the first in the post was what does pot of greed do and i was like ah i see you got jokes that is the most bare bones joke of Yu-Gi-Oh. but i appreciate that i thought it was funny we have a blue eyes die here which i dubbed the niv face <laughs> maybe that's why i love this picture of niv so much because she's literally being a blue eyes if niv had a blue eye she'd literally be a blue eyes right now on well, our second promo is Blue Eyes Chaos Dragon. So we got some Blue Eyes themed promos with that bingo machine and the Chaos Dragon. All right, let's check out our other two packs here for Steven. Then Steven did request that I sign a card. 
which I believe I have signed some Yu-Gi-Oh cards before for Steven, but I don't know what. I know I've signed recently a Kaiba Man, a White Stone of Ancients. You have a Blue Eyes Twin Burst, a hey, Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon, that's actually blue, and Cyber Eternity Dragon. I believe for different people, although I must admit these recent blaster openings to me are kind of all blending together. So I don't necessarily want to sign a stone, want to sign a Kaiba Man. We haven't seen a Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon in a little bit, maybe I'll sign that, but... First things first, we gotta check out this final pack. So I was already proven wrong, we did see some blue there, but it was just the one blue. Sage with Eyes of Blue, and Harpy Lady Sisters, and Black Rose Dragon, Green Ultra. So green was the most plentiful here, two green packs as compared to one blue and one purple. All right, I think I actually, Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon, I think would look cool with a Sapphire Signature. So let me set that off to the side. Well, let's start off our recap here. I know not too many cards in these blasters, two packs in each, so a total of four packs and two promo cards, not too much to go over. But we did have four regular Ultra Rares, Black Rose Moonlight Dragon, Harpy Oracle, Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon, and Sage with Eyes of Blue. Also had two Purple Ultras, Red Rose Dragon, and Starlish Photon Blast Dragon. Four Green Ultras, Blue Eyes Ultimate, White Stone of Ancients, Harpy Lady Sisters, and Black Rose Dragon. And then need two Blue Ultra Cyber Eternity Dragon and Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon. Like I said, setting that Spirit Dragon off to the side for the time being. And our two promos did have Bingo Machine Go and Blue Eyes Chaos Dragon. So I always love seeing Blue Eyes themed stuff. So that is my preferred archetype in this product. Used to play Blue Eyes, I'm obsessed with Kaiba. I am officially cool because I do have the same birthday as Kaiba. We're twins. <laughs> We're not, but you know, one can dream. I mean, being related to Kaiba would be cool. Except then you'd just be Mokuba, which is arguably uncool, but Mokuba's not as annoying as, for me at least. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know if you like Mokuba in the comment section down below. Would you accept being Mokuba to be related to Kaiba? Let me know your thoughts. I'd, I'd say yes. I'd say yes. But anyways, let me go ahead and get this card prepared. Some of you may be wondering if you haven't seen me do this before. Allie, what on earth are you doing? Well, on cards that have a glossy surface, and just cards in general, I'd probably recommend it, but the surface doesn't like to hold the ink because, you know, like, I don't know if you guys ever tried to clean cards, go from, like, light mod play to light play, and get rid of some gunk. Uh, you can, like, wet, like, a little napkin, clean it off. It works. So, it like, the surface repels a bit. Now, obviously, you can't wash your cards, but you, you, can, you can get them a little, a little damp to clean them. Uh, so the surface does repel, and it repels the ink as well. So if you just break it up a little bit with the pad of your hand, or you could take a fancy artist eraser, even like a little, I think, a, like a bounce sheet for the dryer, and wipe wipe it, it'll take a little bit off that surface, which makes it hold the ink better. So this pen is notorious for not working super well, I feel. I really like the metallic colors. I just have a hard time with these metallic pens, so... I think I'll go a little slower. Usually if I go slower with the signature, it comes out better. All right. But I've also more recently started storing all of my Sharpies upside down. Now, even though they come in the package right side up, I've noticed keeping them upside down actually helps the ink come out better. So that looks really nice. I think just having them sit upside down has really helped because the past few times I've done it, it's been a couple times off camera. It's actually looked really nice. So we do have a Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon Blue Alley Auto. Really sweet looking card there for Steven. I think Steven just wanted to see a video today before I headed on out and this was the cheapest thing on the website. But thank you so much Steven for letting me open up more Yu-Gi-Oh for you here on the channel. Really hope you enjoyed the opening and love these new additions to your collection. Always fun checking out Yu-Gi-Oh and I'm excited to be opening up some tins. There's already a few on this weekend's schedule. So excited to check those out and hopefully I can pull you guys some really awesome cards. Steven has a tin, Mako has a tin, I'm sure some other people will grab tins. They should be fun, should be fun. Really cool looking actual physical tin. Some really good reprints in it as well. I had, a, I had a blast last year opening up the Tin of Lost Memories. This year, continuing that streak with the Tin of Ancient Battles. Now let me go ahead and get that blue eye sleeved on up. And with that, I believe that will do it here for this video. So somehow took four packs and stretched it out in the 10 minutes. Don't know how, but it happened. You guys watched it as I experienced it. But yeah, with that, that does it here for this video. So if you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button. 
Hit that like button specifically for the Bidoof hats if you have not yet done so already. Comments for me, leave those down below. Like I said, how annoying on a scale of 1 to 10 do you find Mokuba? I don't really find them annoying, although I feel like people don't like them that much. Maybe that's just something I've gotten to my head that's not true. Do people not like Mokuba? Let me know. And would you want to be related to Kaiba? Let me know as well in the comment section down below. And of course, anything else you have for me. And if you're not yet part of the Titan card soon, really, I promise we'll be checking out some tins eventually. I know that was probably what you all were hoping for today. But if you're not yet part of the Titan card soon, really, like I was saying, do have other Yu-Gi-Oh! openings in the past and in the future to check on out. So if you want to see those, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, before I get on out of here, I do have to give a big shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much, you all, for going above and beyond your supports. Bossman and I truly do appreciate it. We do have 12 Black Label fans. And in Bounty Hunter Breaks, Chris Rivers, Devon, Epicenter Gaming, Fails Tales, Kira Soltari, Mark Mardini, MT, Sean Av, Stephen Olivo, and Stephen Bly. We also have 10 Gem Mint fans. Alberto M, Dragonfire, Dusty Archuleta, Jarrett Geek, Joey J, Michael C, Michael Bigelow, Ryan Michael, Scorecard Collectibles, and Sinvicta. Thank you so much to all of our channel members, and all members do have their names shown on screen at the end of every video. But yes, that does it for me here this afternoon. That does it for me for here for the rest of the weekdays. Should be back on Saturday night. Of course, we'll let you guys know as soon as possible if anything comes up. Should be a regular stream. I'll try not to make it too long, though, just because I think I'll probably be pretty tired. But with that, that does it for me here this evening. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!